security and uh, make some other connections. At this time, we don't suspect that it was laced with fentanyl, but we'll have to wait for those results to come back. The fact that it's crystal meth coming from California, does that lead you to believe that this may have originated across the border since uh, a lot of the cartels are the ones that are majority the, the, the producers of the crystal meth? Um, I can't say for sure on this case, but yes, that is our theory that it was coming across the border, uh, especially since it did come in through California. Was this driven in or was it flown in? Because I know we're, we're starting to see a lot of things coming in from California, but they're flying into Florida. We can say this one, in this case, it was flown in. And, and let me add to uh, something that was alluded to. I will tell you that um, the open borders are a problem, and they are, um, we are see seeing a, a significant amount of drugs um, making its way to Clay County um, because of open borders, and that is definitely something that uh, uh, concerns me as a sheriff. Um, right now, we're, we're still working on that. The question is, if, is there anybody else related to this case? And we're still working through that. Yes, ma'am. Have they been able to track any of his, I'm, I'm assuming this isn't the first time this individual may have been uh, connected to narcotics here mm -hmm. in our area. Have they been able to track or been able to trace any fatalities or overdoses to uh, the meth that he had brought in from California previously? Or No, sir, not at this time. Yes, sir. Uh, this is pounds and pounds of methamphetamine, which, um, you know, we're, we're seeing a, a, a huge number of overdoses in this community. And uh, this is a, a, I mean, this is a serious case. This is uh, 26 pounds of methamphetamine. And, and just for, just for some numbers sake, you know, last year alone, the Clay County Fire Rescue responded to over 500 overdose incidents. Um, and we worked 50, over 50 overdose deaths last year. So we take these drugs seriously. And if you're bringing this type of weight in, into our community, there's gonna be there's gonna be harsh penalties. Is there any indication to suggest that he was more of a mule, if anything, versus just someone who was directly involved with whatever organized uh, operation between California and, and uh, Florida? I, you know, Eric, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't, I don't care if you're a mule or the one putting the drugs, making the drugs you're still part of a drug trafficking industry that is bringing dangerous drugs into our county. So no matter what your role is, um, you know, you're, you're bringing these bad things into our communities and it's not gonna be tolerated. Were they, when they were bringing this stuff in, were they storing it at specific locations here in Clay County? Uh, we're not gonna get into that at this point. That's still part of the investigative um, review. But safe to say that more arrests are most likely pending in this investigation? Um, Potentially, but we'll 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 see. Last question. Does this person have a uh, what type of criminal record? Do we have? If they have one. Not here. Not uh, not here in Clay County. No, sir. No. Uh, no previous arrest history here in Clay County. Anywhere else? No. Not no. All right. I w just want to say thank you again for uh, coming out here today, and um, you know, to the community that is listening right now, we are committed. Uh, to removing drugs from our communities, um, from our community and from our streets. And if you have any information on any illegal narcotics activity or any illegal activity in Clay County, I ask that you submit a tip through our Safer Watch app. You can download that app on your smartphone and you can remain anonymous. Thank you.